G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and episode 5 of our City Skylines Porter Stitch uh, area. Still haven't worked out, I think region might work, but um, technically town. But um, hey, these are little towns, aren't they? Cute little towns. I think we could consider this whole area, um, even though it's got like a bit of a district thing happening there, because that is a district. Um, this whole area is a town. I'd say the, you know, there's the residential. It's got a farming. Um, it's got some supply, um, some, some sort of spots. And then, um, it, you know, um, and even in this industrial could be considered part of this town. I think this is definitely enough. It's only a little offshoot over here. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Let's get into it. So just to recap last episode, we, and I'm really happy with this. We put in a new freeway. We started upgrading the existing freeway that we're using to be the super pricey but lovely four lane in each direction. Just excuse that lovely little curve. Four lane in each direction and um, it is uh, sound, sound barriered as well. So that's pretty good. Um, by the way guys, I've turned the volume like down to like 13, the ambient volume down. Can you hear that roaring? That, that noise sounds like a plane or something just just I'm trying to turn all the volumes down without turning them off and it, I, it doesn't seem to be too dynamic and I'm making the changes and then even reloading the game and there's jackal but that music is just creeping up a bit loud all right exciting things let's talk about this episode so two 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 things for this episode the big news in this episode i've just downloaded the snowfall pack and i won't be using the snow feature i don't i think i've got it turned off i've got dynamic weather turned off anyway i had that turned off before we started so i don't know if it will just start snowing if it does we might see how it goes and at some point we might even turn the weather on so we can see how the snow goes i'm not overly fussed with the um the heating situation i think it's another management for the sake of management put on the top there so I'm not, I'm not fussed with that I think that was unnecessary but snowfall brought us trams and that's why I've purchased it so this episode we have trams yeah and I already have a bit of an idea about what I want to do for the trams the other little bit of news I've had another edition is the free DLC I've added in um, actually I've added two in but uh, one important one I think we could just mention is um, this the, hang on this the stadium so so hang on what's that Tourism and leisure. No, we, we had that. All right, fine. But I've got this football stadium now. So for $200,000, I can place the stadium. And I'll be careful because I've actually got the money there. And I don't want to accidentally place it. But I can place a stadium. And apparently they'll host games and we can watch them happen. And, <clears throat> I, uh, and then we'll get money if the team wins. Now, I'm not overly sure that the town's big enough to support this big stadium at the moment. But when we do put it in, I was thinking of putting it somewhere around the university because I think it could be associated with the university. I think that's all a bit on brand. I think you'd have that. I think that would work. Um, <clears throat> so we will place a stadium at some point, but I'm not going to spend 200,000 bangaroos on it just yet. And I am going to want to spend 200,000 bangaroos on trams. So um, in addition to that, I think I purchased the uh, Oriental DLC. Was it? Am I talking Planet Coaster? No, I'm talking City Skylines. Let's see. There was another DLC here with... What's that one? Modipacks. Ooh, ooh, Modipacks. What's that? <laughs> Modipacks. What the hell are they talking about? Um, there was a content creator pack and science center. And I might have got the technology center or something. I thought I also got some Asian inspired buildings. It's really weird. Uh, they'll be somewhere. Um, let's let's leave them though because we don't need to look at them now. Um, I don't know what's going on with the water there, so we'll just leave it. Whoa! Let's get out of that. Uh, okay, cool. So, um, how's that? What are we doing there? So, we're probably, what, six minutes? And then it turns out I've not even started building yet. So, um, I will start right now. All right. <clears throat> so, we got a bit of this happening here. Now... It's interesting because, well, they, they really need their own police station up here. So we'll just get that. Um, do they? Yeah, I think they do. I think they do. This is a nice little old-fashioned, 12,000. And I think on the main road is great. Okay, so police station, please. Um, and we've got a bit of residential, but also a little bit of um, um, commercial. And I think I can start putting in some high-density commercials. And what I might do with the high-density commercial is just start putting them on this side of the freeway, mixed in with this other stuff, as, of course. Um, so that could be nice. Should I or should I unzone that? 
Actually, yeah, let's put them either side. No, actually, it'd be good if they spread into each other. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just put high density commercial um, and we'll just, let me unzone, actually, let me unzone a few of these now by hand. Maybe I'll just do this doddingly as well. I do like the idea, oh, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just unzone bits of it. Because um, I do like that there's a bit there and we can mix in these commercial and, res uh, sorry, industrial and resi residential. So what I'm just going to do now is grab the, the overzoning tool and just go crazy um, like this. But that's going to put it on that bloody ramp because I made the ramp a... Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, because I made the ramp a um, <coughs> a road because I wanted two lanes in each direction. Yes. Okay, uh, these guys, they can come out there. It's a two-lane road, so that's fine. Um, use this fill section so we want that, 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 but not there. Okay, so that should give us a bit of um, that, and this, this demand is dropping, so that's good. So that's our... Um, our commercial for the moment. Um, I think we can just maybe just ooh, we can just do a few here. It's the forest, so we just gotta be a bit careful. And we can probably do even a couple. It's a couple of here, just little ones. Oh, on the road though would be nice. Okay, let's see how that goes. Um, can even put a few farms. In fact, we can pop a farm in. Pop a few farms in here because we should have done that anyway. Otherwise, that road doesn't mean anything. Okay, let's give them those. I'm um, just going to get one more there for another farm. Don't want it to look too evenly spaced out though. So that's good. Okay, so that'll be good. The high density nature of those latest zoning means this one's dropped right down, which is great. I like these being down a bit because it's no, not as much pressure to. Um, you know, create more population because I, I don't want to just go mental with the creation of the population. That's where you get issues. All right, we do want to put trams in, but just before that, let's check a few things. Electricity, good. Water, excellent. Yeah, we'll leave that because uh, we spent a bit of time on it last episode. Okay, healthcare, good. Death care, good. Um, fire, 30% has a Mm, well, we just we got fire there. We got fire there. We ha have we put fire up here? No. Um, I think I should. I think I will. Okay, let's put fire here. Let's make it. In fact, let's put it um, there. Ooh, hang on. Uh, there. Yeah, that's good. And police we put here. So police is already good. Um, now education was the one I wanted to check. So elementary school we can definitely put one up here. Um, and we will get this lovely older elementary school and I'll put it there. That brings us to that, but we could probably put one more in. I've had 10,000 profit here, so I want to keep this all quite nice. Let's put another elementary school somewhere in the thick of it here. Might just lose a few houses to do it. So that brings us into the green with the elementaries. High schools. The capacity for 1,000, but I think we need 3,000 to allow for future... Um, expansions uh, so high schools are 24 even so we'll get this lovely brick one is there a different one no they're universities okay um let's go with uh where's that brick yeah the brick building yep okay so high schools we're gonna get two more so we'll put one in just near that other school there so where's the um the crescent so put it on the crescent it could be nice if we put it on the crescent, but we won't. We'll put it here. I think that's probably a safer bet. Okay, nice and green. And we're going to put a high school up here. Uh, not there. It's the industrial section. A high school up here. There's a good spot for it. Can I get it? Oh. Um, yeah, that's a good spot, actually. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that is excellent, actually. So you got the high school and the elementary school there so here and here okay that's good so schools are good capacity for high schools are now 3000 with 2125 attending that's good um now he really needs a bus or something but instead of that we're going to get tram and i'm going to include that area so that's good country light rail we'll call that um freeway okay <clears throat> all right let's <coughs> excuse me for a sec let's think about this and just uh, I was going to pause it, but I think I'll keep it on speed one. 
um, for the moment. Um, while we we might pause it in a sec, but yeah, let's just keep it going just while we get keep getting some money in there. So we want the tram. Let's see what we do now with the trams. I'm gonna have to in future um, when I, now that I've got trams, I could pro probably um, do this a little better and not have to. Um, you know, re-engineer roads um, to get um, tramps. So, um, and, and probably lay them out a bit better is what I'm trying to say. So if I have a look here, um, and in fact, is that tram? Four lane road with tram tracks. Now that's nice, but I got something to show you. Um, let me see, is it there? No. Um, on the big roads. Okay, look at these ones. These are great. Let's just go have a look at the default ones the games give you. So the games give you um, a four lane road with trams and trees. So it gives you two lanes in each direction. And let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of these. <clears throat> um, yeah, just here. Yeah. Okay. So it gives you um, two lanes in each direction and grass down the middle I'd like uh, you know and and so this would be like a royal parade a bit a little bit like royal parade in melbourne um no a little bit like victoria parade um or Vic, Vic, victoria victoria parade yeah just the, in the city of melbourne so you got this um you know two lanes two lanes although that's got a few more but it's then got gr a grass sort of stretch and then the the trams actually go on grass as well uh, in various parts so that's that's um it does look quite nice as well so I think that's nice, but I just don't know about the two and two. I think we can do a bit bigger. So if I have a look here, um, and the other one here is this. So this one here is the same road, but I think it's not as wide because it's, yeah, here we go. So not as green. So the train runs on, uh, the tram here runs on a little bit more of a fake grass. Um, and it runs a, like a, a tram track all the way along there it runs like a um uh what is it like a like if you put a stop in there so if you do this one continuously does that just give you oh god four lane road with tram platforms okay cool so i think that one is not kind of a road because you'd have to i think you just replace that section because that's, yeah, you wouldn't run that as a road. So I think you'd run this and then run into that. So that's interesting. You've got that now. Um, so we probably won't end up using that. I think I'll just place the tram stops manually at the start. We might. This looks a bit clever. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Now, my friend uh, or my acquaintance, um, Bad Peanut, I believe these are his creations and I've downloaded them. So I'm not sure how buses work in the game. Um, but these ones here are the tram tracks. And the interesting one here is these roads are six and six in each direction and they're arterial roads. So they're massive roads. They're probably, re I mean, they're really big, but um, you've even got ones with buses. So we've got 64 across. So 64 across is 12 lanes, six in each direction. Um, and then you've got a, um, uh, what do you got there? So you've got 64 across with just the nature strip in the middle, 64 across, but also, um, oh, sorry, six and six and a bike lane um 60 six and six and a bus six and six and trams which is probably what we're going to use and bus and bike and then i think you've got tram bus and bike tram and tram and bike tram and bus and then tram bus and bike so we'll have a look at that really big one there because that's a massive road that's huge i mean that is ridiculous yeah so in each direction four lanes of traffic two buses taxis taxis and buses go together it's interesting how they're on either side i'm not sure why they did that i'd prefer this road to just be five lanes across and a bus this is hoddle street just around the corner from victoria street in melbourne this is hoddle street uh, and then you've got the tram down the middle on that lovely grass and then you've got a bike lane and a bus lane is that right did i just say that uh oh sorry footpath bike lane bus lane which we and then four then bus so that's interesting um and then if we have a look here um the next road is or the one we're probably going to use is this one so i just want to see how big it is because i mean you know we'll zoom out and have a look at this you know it is massive but i love the idea that it really sets us up for these big roads that run around the towns 
I think laying them is going to be interesting. I can always change them to these other ones because I think if you upgrade that section of road, let me just see. Yeah, it's 64 meters across. So upgrading it to this is quite easy. Let me just try that uh, if I go like that and I want to upgrade it to the one with everything. Yeah, see that? There you go. And there's the transition. So you can upgrade and downgrade these without having to move buildings. So that's pretty good. So what I might do is just, I think I will lay down this road here. Um, trams and then if i want bikes sorry not this one um yeah this one trams and then if i want bikes i will put bikes in at some point okay so um okay that's all good now let's think about where we want this bloody road well i think that road has to be the road that we go down so i think it's going to be it's going to be interesting Oh, we might have to do this is going to be a lot of fiddling around guys um so but that's all right we knew it would be we knew it would be a little bit like this so let's put the tram in and i like the, i like i do like the turn at some point it's going to say um well they hang on yeah at some point it's going to say to us no good ah oh, that's interesting because that road there uh, no, no, this road will mean that people won't use the freeway. Okay, what have we done here? We've, we've depowered some, some buildings. So let's just reconnect, please. Um, these ones are going to be depowered anyway while we have to move them. Uh, oh, hang on. These ones are guys are here. Uh, and these ones can be just... Last green for a moment. Okay, there we go. That's good. And then here. Right, that's good. And I'll just put these guys here for the moment while we decide. Um, it's interesting. The first bit I just did then. Look at those. We're going to have to fix those intersections. But if I make a really big road along here, no, I think that's going to be a problem. I think I can do the roads anywhere and just run a light rail next to it. I don't want people getting onto this and not using the freeway. That's not the purpose of it. But then again, look how good it is with four. Is it six? Six lanes. I don't think it could ever get super busy. Hmm. It's still too big. Let's stick with the original plan. <clears throat> let's get this one. Tiny little road by comparison. And let's upgrade this. And let's downgrade this. This. And this. Okay, that's good. And now what we'll do is we will um, all right um, so we definitely want this to be there that's four lane hang on oh that was four lane with trams oh right yeah that's right we were doing the six with trams okay we were doing this one weren't we yeah. Yo, oh, nearly upgraded the freeway then. I mean, this is a really big road to put through the middle of this town, but I kind of don't mind. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go back and fix that hill a bit at some point. But these cars are really spread out here, which is kind of good. Um, space area occupied. So we're going to get this a few times. We're going to get this where it's like, um, you know, police stations and things stopping us from doing it. So um, we've just got to keep our nerve here. Um, actually, what I might do is go here and here and then uh yeah 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 mm, so we've got the freeway stopping us there i mean not the freeway oh the freeway the um <laughs> graveyard the freeway and i say graveyard brilliant okay it's gonna make some zoning changes here so this is interesting um i'm gonna continue along here 
think I've just unpowered something, so let's just keep these going. Oh, just check on how much these are costing us. Not that much, actually. These roads are really big. Um, so we'll move a few things in a sec. Uh, power, please. Okay. Um, and let's just see what the issue was. What was the issue here? Ooh, what is it? Okay, um, right, let's see what the issue is here. No, not that. Uh, zoning. Um, let's see if we can just get that bit of road done. There we go. All right, so the tram line is going here. All right, so tram line is running down here. Um, <clears throat> and let's just pause it here while we go. Um, What's the issue here, people? Why can't I demolish that road? You know, occasionally the game bugs out a bit when I go to do this. So what 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 am I in there? Am I in power? Um, where's the damn road? What what menu am I going into? Problem tree anarchy. If I'm doing this. Well, why, why when I go to that, is it not letting me do that? Oh, okay, we might just have to power these guys up. Uh, electricity. Oh, man. Okay. Um, it is not going well. What's happening there? There are power lines everywhere. I mean, there really are power lines everywhere. Okay, I guess we, we redid that a bit, didn't we? <clears throat> do I want people to be able to park uh, shop on there? Yeah, I think I do. So let's go here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, that's good. And... Right, uh, what's the problem with this road here? So is that high school? I'm just going to move that to there for the moment. And what's this one? Dog store. So I should now be able to upgrade these, please. Yep. Okay, they can be upgraded now. <clears throat> that intersection is not brilliant, but I essentially think I need to go in there anyway. So where's the crescent? <clears throat> yeah. So tram line can come down here and can come down here. Actually, it doesn't need to be so big, does it? It can just be big in that section, but tram line can actually be smaller. Two lane road with tram tracks. That's interesting. We want a slightly bigger road than that. Two lane, one way road with tram tracks. Okay, let's go. How about um, four lane road with tram tracks? Okay. So I can do that. Ah, good. And then that means that I don't have to get rid of stuff. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the tram route. That's going through the middle of the town if it goes around here. It turns left. 
these are going to rezone themselves. Actually, while I'm there, let me just unzone these guys. Because we can have high density then. And we can go here. Opposite the uh, university, I think is fine. Oh, that's good. All right, so tram tracks are now here because they can just go that way. And I like the little complicated intersection there. That's looking pretty good. I mean, into these really big roads, but why are you all fighting over that one lane? Six lanes and they're all fighting over it. Brilliant. What is going on? Okay. Six lanes and they're all on the left. I suppose if they're going to get onto the freeway, they need to. Okay. It's a, bit, it's a bit of hokum at the moment, to tell you the truth. All right, so we've got to be up here on the tra tram tracks. So we'll keep that up here. Um, and then this guy's going to be... So it's going to turn left, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to turn left and then connect up here. And it's going to go slightly left here. And we'll do that in just a sec. Something's obviously here stopping us. Yep. And then we want to connect up with the other power. Where is the other? I mean, this tram track's going right into the suburb. So I don't know if that is um, the done thing. But it really is connecting right the way in. So we'll just... I think that is the done thing, actually. I think this does happen. Um, all right. So... Let's move a few things. So this one, we want to move that to there. And what else? What else? What else? So the tram route. So it's along here. Um, elementary school. Put it here. And high school. Put it here. Right, sorry about that. I just rebooted the game and uh, so I can see if this was working. See, do you see what I'm saying? Now that I press the B button, bulldoze, um, it brings it up. But previously it was taking me into that kind of gray map where I'm looking at some sort of resource or something. Um, interesting. Oh, why did I do that? Does anyone know why I did that? <laughs> okay, that's fine. fine, fine, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we're getting a, uh, ooh, it was this road, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. And it was going to be curved, so we might as well go here to here. And let's get a nice kind of right angle going into the streets. Decent sort of intersection. Might have to come, I think with this one, now this is getting a little bit flabberleaky of me. Um, yeah, this is. So what we will do is we'll go out here. Um, and there and then what I'll do is I'll come out at a good angle from this one So if I go here, it's coming out at a nice angle right angle and that'll give me a nice intersection There's some blue there. There was blue happening. Yeah, and no nope, still gives me the same intersection brilliant um, I like how the train line the tram lines curve around in both directions. That's great All right, so all right, well, at least we know not to bother with that again in the future um So just gotta be careful here because tram lines don't sort of curve too wonky. So I've got to be careful not to. What's that one? Oh, that's the park. Um, move it. If I go M, does it move? No. Uh, no, but I think I just clicked on the move it up. Uh, that's good. Yep. Yeah, and so that's gonna be. What happened there? Okay, that's good. All right, cool. So that's all there. And while we're there, um, we may as well just zone up some of this. Um, do you know what? Let me just, because when we upgraded that road, it got a bit carried away. Uh, so we'll just unzone all that. And we'll unzone all this. And then I'll rezone it so it goes right to that boundary again. Ooh. Okay, so um, let's go here. So we want to go, um, please rezone this. And this guy, I want to rezone everything. 
in high. Everything else there, yep. Yeah, yeah, good. And then any little unzoning here that we've got to fix up. Actually, let's fix this up first because that, that, that's the one that we're about to do. It's going to be painstaking, but at least we know in future we'll be doing these. Um, we're doing this all, you know, beforehand. Um, not have to retrofit it, which we're doing at the moment. So you got a tram line there, decent sized road. That's good. Ooh. And here we need to just upgrade this one. But it doesn't like that there's something there. That should be the last bit. Um, what is it? It's a residence. Uh, sorry, what is it? It's got to be something. Oh, park. Um, I like to move it, move it. Here we go. Uh, there's that one. So they all didn't like that. Should we give them another park back? Yeah, let's give them another park back. In fact, um, let's give them that one. Yeah, that's nice. And, it, uh, and another one at the end. Uh, careful on doing that. I'm just getting rid of a few residences when I do that. So I've got to be a little careful. Um, okay, don't get sidetracked. Don't get sidetracked. Um, and then if we upgrade here and here now. Yeah. Okay, so we should be able to build a tram line now. So we've got two tram lines, actually. We can build a tram line. Uh, actually, no, I don't think we've gone far enough. <laughs> We, so, we've got a tram line that winds its way through the suburbs and goes there. I wonder if that could just run a loop and the other tram line could go from here all the way to here. Should we just do that to get the trams going? It's interesting how the trams can go underneath as well. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's run a... So we need a depot. We need a tram depot. Um, all right. So, should we pause it? Um... I suppose I could run a tram line that goes around here and goes up there and then turns around and then goes straight back down. I mean, it's a bit complicated, but it kind of gets this section and the curve section, which is not too bad. It runs a branch out to the suburbs, goes up. It's only got a little bit of distance to go up here, and even when we expand into this section, it's not very far, is it? It's interesting. I reckon we can do that. We can put the depot here as well, actually. This is sort of tucked away. I think the depot could be nice. Uh, depot could be there, actually. Yeah, depot's there. That's a nice little spot for the depot. Um, I think. Yeah, keep all this for... Although there is the power there, so... You don't want to put houses too close to those. Now, depot could be nice tucked away into this little corner here. Okay, uh, let's do so. That music's getting carried away again. You know? Oh, gosh. See these skylines. It's annoying me. Options. And then when you go to this screen, it goes really quiet. Oh, God. Music volume. 9%. I mean, I'm just getting really annoyed. And it's just as, just as strong. Anyway. All right, let's go. So we've got trams. Where is it? Buses, planes. Uh, tram. Here we go. So here we go. So there's the roads, and we've already been using those. And we've got the tram depot. So I'll put tram depot in first. Now, I think I've got to put him on a road. Uh, no, I don't. Wait, wait, what? Space area occupied. It doesn't like the curves. Okay. Okay, um, so we'll put him right at the end. Doesn't like the curves. So if I put a road here, is that just tram? Just tram track. What about if I do that? No, he's not going to like that. It's got to be a road. Uh, he's definitely not going to like that. Okay, uh, let's go service road. So let's do single road and I'll make it nice and straight. So let's put it like this. I think I'm going to have to put tram lines on it though. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's a nice little learning curve, this one. Um, just reroute these powers. Uh, I'm panicking about that other. <laughs> that other little uh, thing. Um, so here we go. Uh, let's run trams. Tra that's schools. Trams. Um, yeah, and it was this one. Yeah. So uh, where would we put him? So we might as well put him right at the end now that we've, you know, bothered to do that. So we can put it there. 
that's really cool i love that i think that's great now to simply got to upgrade this road here so it's a two lane road with tram track yeah that sounds pretty good make it an upgradable and it'll be here and here cool so literally this is so the workers can get in there this is so that these guys can can do that uh, get the tram on uh, the trams can turn around there i believe and do I need this tram to go up here? Yeah, I do, because I, I will extend it eventually. Okay, um, so we'll do tram buses in, uh, tram lines in a sec. Let me just see if I can get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, um, and we're poor still, aren't we? Yeah. Just gonna put the money on. Put the money on. All right, uh, okay, so this is what we said we'd do. So it would be. <coughs> Tram line. Oh, hang on. We need to get him power and water. Well, power's good. He's already got power, which is great. We just need to get some water up here. Yeah. And I'll well just get that a little bit as well. Yep. That's good. Okay. Um, it doesn't like the. Is it the, the. They're not connected, the tram lines. That's the problem. Ah, uh, yes. Hang on. Oh, right, okay, yeah, because cause that isn't finished. Why? Oh, yeah, because of that. Right, that's right. Ah, yes, that's what we're trying to get rid of. So, I think we're going to have to go there, there, and there, and then go here. And now we're looking at are these six lanes. Yeah. They're the big ones. Six plus trams. All right, and it's going to be here, so it'll be um, that. Well, let's just see how far we can go out. Yep, and then I think that's going to be just a bit too much. Yeah, it is. So if we go here, yep, and then if we go oh. Can I actually not do that? Oh god. Alright. Um, not the best looking tram roads ever, but they work. Yeah, they work. Okay, um, so this is gonna be a nice short tram line just so we can test things and then we'll then we'll it's proof of concept and then we'll go mental with it. Um, tramage. All right. Now we want a line. So the line is going to be from here, and the tram will just use this to get onto its, you know, and start its line. So the line's going to be, you know, right at the end, and we might as well do it on this side because this is the side they get on. So the line's going to be there. Um, now we've got to think about where they want to stop. Oh yeah. So on this one, the tram is going to be. on the left so might as well do it here actually let's do it like this yeah let's do it this way so the train will be on the left here which is nice so he stops there just before the intersection then he gets into the residential and there's a couple of schools here so he stops here um he gets around to the crescent and that can be crescent stop so he stops oh god okay there's a bit a bit, a bit of oh there's a little bit we haven't done yet um leave that okay so if we go Upgrade. Um, it's park. It's giving us an issue there, so we need to go move. And mm, let's get him right out of the way for the moment. And he's going to upgrade, is he? Mm. Uh, oh, not that. <laughs> uh, definitely not that. Um, how about that? Yeah, good. Okay, it's good. Um, and just while we're there, because that zoning just dies a bit, doesn't it? It just, it just, it, it really does. Just, just croak it a bit. Wow. I mean, when you do this, the zoning sort of really packs it in. Um, oh, I, I see what I did. I fixed all this and then I, I rebooted. Okay. So that's, you know, that's not good. Let's just go here. And. And we don't want that and that. And then we can just go there, there, there. All the same color. Um, good, good, good. Everyone happy? I 
hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, we're sort of getting a few milestones happening, and yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with it. I, I just think the, the creative of this map has done a ripper job. Look at that. I just love it. I love it. I think I looked at some other really plain maps just earlier, and I was thinking this map is great because it just allows me to do my thing, and their creativity is 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 just on display, and I love that. I think it's great. Um, is that a tram? There's the tram road. Okay, so if we go here, we should be still finishing that line. So we're there, and then we are... Um, so there's a distance between stops, because you don't want stopping too often, but not too far apart. So it's going to be crescent stop, right in the middle of the crescent. Um, then I think a stop about here, just around the corner. Already get around the corner, and then you stop. Yep. And then on the main street, we'll go there, and then the next stop can actually be here. Now the tr tram turns around, and on this side I like the stops to be where they are, so that's, there's no turnaround, the tram can't turn around, oh, we got to do a turnaround, alright, uh, we'll do that, we will do that, um, tram turn around, wow this is confusing, so we'll just go tram track only, single direction tram track please, curve, and this is going to really test my my sort of I mean it's really ugly at the moment appallingly ugly I mean this is, you can't be allowed to do this can you look at that I suppose we could use the move it to try and fix it. Should we try that? <laughs> yeah, let's just use move it to try and fix it. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, so um, <laughs> that actually works really well. And I actually am proud of myself because I've done that. And where's some more points? I'm looking for the... So there's... What can you do? You can move it here. That's not bad. Just go a bit sort of there. And then if I put this one in a bit... That shrinks the whole thing, but... You know, the tram should take a fair bit of room. Um, hang on, did we just move the end of the road? We did, didn't we? Can I undo that? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's just leave that. I think, do you know what? That is good. That is a ripper. The tram comes out here, turns around. So now when I go back to tram, um, I should now be able to go here to and it was going to line up with the other stop which was there and, oh i don't want that um creating this one so so here so end of the street then it turns around and it goes um there yep so this tram stops uh so on this end of the street you have to get on this side of the road sorry about that now at this point it doesn't line up with the others it goes here now i want a university stop so i suppose that is the university stop isn't it yeah okay um and there's a stop there so we'll go we'll literally stop here on that side of the road and then we'll just complete it with that oh no 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 oh yeah tram tram needs to be able to do its thing here as well doesn't it Okay, this is interesting. We're really testing our... Actually, you know what? Let's do this again. Oh, God, okay. Um, 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 um. <sighs> I'm just thinking, how do I do this? Because I've not left myself enough room there. If I go here, it's goodbye. But the tram line isn't. So I'm going to have to get rid of the tram line and start again. Okay, but you know where I'm going to put it. So that would be nice. Um that trams could you actually say trams instead of what are these tram line one tram line two so we don't there shouldn't be two lines anyway so i'm glad i checked that all right they're both gone um and we'll do the turnaround now as well someone should design a turnaround uh, in fact on the steam workshop in fact there probably is i'm sure there is actually so ignore that um and we want the curve road so we want a tram line to go we might as well the road guards are on, are they? Yep. Oh, we don't want that. Don't do that. All that. Oh, God, what have I done? It's fine. OK, 
Yeah, that one's pretty good. Happy with that. I mean, it's a one way, so it really shouldn't curve around that way. It shouldn't go around again. I can't imagine why a train would go twice around. Although, I suppose for it's timing of the move, it could. Uh, and this one's got to be two way. Um, otherwise, it won't be able to go. Uh, where is it? Trams, please. Two ways upgrade. And it's going to be this section here. Yep. Okay, cool. So, tram will go around here, turn around, and come back down here. And if it needs to go around again, it will. So, we should be able to now to redo our line. So, let's start the line there again. So, the line's going to be here on the left. And it's going to be now. The first stop was just here before we, before we get around the corner. Yep. And then it was going to be... Um, first stop there. Second stop was going to be here near the school. Third stop is going to be here near the crescent. Or well, there near the crescent, but that's all right. We'll just leave it there. Um, third stop is going to be first one on the high street, but we'll go up a little bit because I don't know if it needs to be. Yeah, we will go up. We'll go right in the middle of the high street. Um, then we'll go here. Tram does a turn around, um, but there's no stop there to get on. We'll match that one up because then I'm going to put one just here near the university. This is going to be university stop. And then this will go around here to here to match it with that and then connect up with this. And that should be a line. Press play, see the trams come out and then we can see what goes on. Now, just but actually just before we press play, I think one thing I need to get into the habit of doing is, and I realize this episode has gone long, so we're gonna finish shortly. So we'll change the color because we can um, to, uh, like that like that no no like that brilliant uh but then we also want to select the settings of the tram so where do we get into that and do that vehicles one that was quick so if i go here yeah and public transport and i go lines well hang on see i don't what, what's going on with these why are they doing that um so lines overview um, I want number of vehicles there's one but I want to know where the vehicles are going to be so seven people waiting there uh, line color so I need to get there's a new mod that Flabaliki was using and it tells me a bit about these lines and I can actually add the types of trams the specific tram selector so I'll have to do a bit of bit of looking into that because this isn't it um, let's change that color again because we want something a little bit, yeah, that's a bit brighter. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, and get out of that. Press play and we'll see now the trams come out. Here they go. Oh, they are Melbourne trams. These are Bad Peanuts trams as well. I mean, sorry, but this is fabulous. He gets out of there and he flies around. This is great. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this. So he goes left. He should do his full turn first. Now we've got a few different, this these, this is brilliant because you've got these trams here, which are these small ones, and then these big ones, which are the really large ones. And so that's great because in Melbourne, you have a lot of trams that run, um, and they're the old original trams from the 70s or the 80s. Oh, I'm pretty sure these are Bad Peanuts creations. In fact, I'm 100% sure of that. Um, this is a Bumblebee tram that's coming along and he should make his first stop here. I love that they're just spawning at different types of trams. Um, I mean, we're looking at the rolling... Ooh, the rolling stock is interesting, but for spacing, he turned right. This is the first tram, but these other trams are gone, so they're obviously deciding, yeah, let's get to the other end of it. In fact, let's go back here. Let's see, one will go left... What's happening there? He's going to go left and, and he will be doing the thing. But these ones are going to go straight ahead. Well, that one's going straight ahead to really space out. So I'm just going to have to turn down how many we have on there as well. Um, let's see him go. Look at him go through the streets. I mean, that is spectac. I mean, I'm really impressed, guys. I'm just, I'm thrilled. Oh, wow. I'm really, really thrilled. That is just, I thought, how am I going to import it? What do I do? Um, but the trams are there, and they're Melbourne trams, and I hate Melbourne. I hate it, but um, the trams are, the trams are, you know, they're, I, I've just moved to the UK, and these trams are making me a little homesick, because they're brilliant. Oh, and I built the network. 
Um, has anyone passed university stop yet? There's a tram coming up there. Look at that. I love it. I, I love it. I think it's great. I'm just going to jump into the uh, transport. Yeah. And just have a quick look here because a second one down. Um, and I wanted to have a look there. So let's just check out why does it put it there? Um, <laughs> all right, cool. So 10 out of 10. So it's got 10 trams happening. Um, and the spacing of the trams is really, really good, I think. Is it? No, this is people waiting. All the trams are kind of around each other. Let's, let's just zone out and have a look here. Can this... Why can't I move this stupid one? All right. Um, so the spacing... There's the spacing. Or is this the people on the stops? That's a stop, and that's how many people are waiting. So this is stop 15. So these are the trams that are moving. These are the people that are waiting. So if I go here, I've got 11 people waiting at this stop, and we've got a tram about to approach it. 210 capacity. It's got 39 people on it. So there's a tram coming up to this one. So this is all live data. I love this. Oh, this is brilliant, guys. This is really cool. Um, and then he's just waiting to turn right, is he? Yeah, he's waiting for the traffic lights. And then he'll do that now jump on and get to these people so we've got 10 trams going around this one and i think that's pretty good when i did the buses and i did buses in a really big city i had the issue that there were just a million buses that had to really i had to remember immediately turn the buses down so it's interesting now that we've sort of um done it the other way um okay uh what's happening there let's just check on power we're gonna leave this episode here why is the temperature there? This must be part of the snowfall pack. Um, and that's fine. But we don't need those two. And now if we've got these guys coming in there, we don't need these guys, do we? Oh, hang on. That's providing power to all that. He's coming around to there. We need that. We need that. We need that. Um, yeah, I think everything's essential here. <laughs> yep. I think everything's... Oh, no, no, no. We just need to get some more people powered up, please. So along... What do you got there? How about there to there? And here, we'll go across here and to there, because that's... You'd see that on the highway. So that's good. These guys will be good. Um, just checking any alarms. You need a tram, I know. Imagine what it's going to be like when you get a tram. I'm going to be carrying on so much. All right, let's leave the episode here. I will see you in the next episode. We will adjust the... Look at that. I mean, look at that mess. That's not... <laughs> the traffic jam goes from that town on the freeway, still jammed. On the new freeway, still jammed. Off the off-ramp, into the industrial section, still jammed. I mean, what's happening, guys? Let's get that big, nice six-lane road in here so it can connect up. And then that traffic should stop. Because look at this. There's no traffic heading this way. And these big lane roads are helping. So I like that. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that episode and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.